And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Karma. Gonna be our last of three Zoe decks today. That's right, it was it was Zoe night tonight, Wednesday night with our three decks. They were all Zoe donation decks. This one is going to be with Karma. We're gonna be mostly all Targon in this deck, going with Mountain Scryer, Allegiance, Invoke, and just all sorts of awesome Targon cards, but splashing Ionia for the top end of having um, some Deny for Protection, but then, of course, our other champion, Karma. Really what we want to do here is just use Targon's ability to like just uh, play some good defense and everything and, and get awesome spells and just try to make the game go long. And then once we're in the late game, whenever it is uh, round 10 and we are enlightened and Karma is leveled up, then whenever we play a spell, we'll be able to cast it again on the same target, so we'll be able to double up every spell. And that's going to mostly, like, the, the best thing to do with that is going to be our star shaping. We'll now be able to heal the Nexus 10, because we're just going to cast two star shapings whenever we, we uh, double it up. So we'll heal our Nexus for 10, making it even more difficult for our opponent to kill us, and then, of course, invoke the Celestial card twice. Um, other good things with that, you know, like super cool star chart can invoke two cards and like pill cascade will draw multiple cards, guiding touch, draw multiple cards and heal four. Um, and all the cards that we invoke, um, you know, we, we will be invoking some spells and double casting those spells are going to be awesome. And then of course, karma's champion spell is always great to, um, uh, have enlightened, um, and then even like something like Spell Thief for one mana, we could steal two enemy spells and then each one of those enemy spells we'd get to double cast. That seems like that could get out of hand really quick. So that's what we've got going on here. Um, but besides that, we're also going to be a Zoe deck. As far as our early game goes, we'll have Mountain Goat be our two drop creating some gems. The gems work well with Spacey Sketcher. We'll also have the Lunari Duskbringer in here to help out the Spacey Sketcher. Um, this just gives us another like one drop to be able to block and, and everything. And I, th I think the two one body is more important than the one two body as far as playing the Dustbringer or Gift Giver. The gem is more valuable than the um, Dusk Petal Dust, but the two one body is more valuable than the one two and more so than, than the difference between the gem and the dust. So we're, we're gonna be playing the two one that creates a, a card that we can discard. Um, the dust can do a couple of things. You can like just uh, play it during combat to be able to unlock Pale Cascade. You can also play it to help out Eclipse Dragon, which is going to be uh, some you know probably the the biggest use for that card is the Eclipse Dragon. But then also it can just be a, a different name for Zoe, and then obviously the Space Sketcher. Um, but that's kind of like our early game, and then our mid game is the Priestess and the Scryer that both invoke, and then of course our late game is going to be the Karma. All right, but anyway, let's get to it. We'll have five games ahead of us. Let's see if we can uh, get a winning record today. We had a couple of uh, bad luck 2-3 so far. Let's have a good record for this one. All right, so we'll also be playing against another Ionia Targon Zoe deck, but they're playing Lee Sin. So we will get rid of the Sunblessed Vigor, get rid of the Guiding Touch, get rid of the Karma, and get rid of the Mountain Scryer. The Mountain Scryer could see maybe keeping... Um, but I think just in general, we're just going to be mulliganing Karma in every single opening hand. It's our very late game card. Okay. Mountain Goat's pretty cool. I like that card. Let's play it. More mountain goats. All right. So our Zoe's still at one. Man, that is the fastest pass you can possibly have. I think I'll play the Priestess. Alright, and now I will pass. I'll take the stun to enemies. Where are you at? Three? 
Three is not that many. I just don't really want them to hush and then block. I don't think that's really worth it. Extend your senses. All right, that's big. Getting rid of Lee Sin. Hopefully they don't have another. I bear a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? Cool, no notify. Or Bastion or anything like that. Old Sparky. Actually, maybe I should take that zero. I'm a serious artist now. I paint sparkle flies. Maybe I should take in the zero mana two one. We're at seven. Really? That gets nopified? Why didn't you just nopify it to begin with? And then you would have kept me from getting a Zoe. No, opponent doesn't have a bad hand. Like for their deck, they don't. They don't have a bad hand. Cause they have you know like turn two mountain goat, turn three mountain goat, and then they like you know try to hook me in the past, but then they have the you know lease in and then this stuff. It's not necessarily a bad hand. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. <laughs> yeah, I should have taken the zero mana two one challenger. Um, which one do I use, Bastion or Deny? I guess... Deny? Because, like, Bastion, they still have, like, the three mana. They could, like, you know, I go Bastion, they go, like, Hush. It's just, Deny is better for, like, having my Falling Comet. Like, I could have, like, Falling Comet plus Deny get rid of a Lee Sin. So, like, that's why I would want to, like, I'd want to use Bastion. Like, Deny, I think Deny is more valuable. Our Zoe is at eight, and it is now hushed, and it is now getting stunned. I could also wait for them to, you know, spend mana on the Paddle Star, and then they're spending that extra mana, but then they do get the Zoe back in their deck. I guess I just do that. I, I think I wait. Oh, I should have played Trickster. Trickster is actually better here. I forgot about the Trickster in hand. Oh, you're right. They would get the Zoe anyway. So yeah, it definitely makes sense to wait. Because yeah, you're right. They would get the Zoe anyway. So yeah, I'm glad we're making them spend more mana. Yeah, we're playing Karma Zoe. They're playing Lee Sin Zoe. Zoe. They're all fury. Okay, so whenever you play the tenth card, that does count. Okay, I didn't I didn't realize that that was going to give like the keywords everything. Whenever you play the tenth card. We got yeah, we got dragon Zoe. So 
this can give them all scout. Fury Scouts. Oh, right, it doesn't have elusive. Alright, so they'll overwhelm and be able to deal damage. Seems like a little bit of a waste of a Bastion, but all right. They were already getting the. Oh, I guess never mind. They kept the Zoe alive. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna have like these these scouts and everything. Eclipse Dragon Scout. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Has anybody just like said that in like normal life? Like if something like good happened for them or like they did something really cool or anything like that? Has anybody been like, do, 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 oh yeah. I haven't thought that yet, but maybe I haven't played enough Zoe. I don't know. We're playing a whole bunch of Zoe today. I just hope somebody here in chat has uh, said that so far. Trundle Trindamir. So Sunburst obviously is amazing. The star shaping, um, probably pretty good too. Get the obliterate, try to get the nine mana obliterate card with the star shaping. Um, <laughs> Cortex says, imagine you're playing a, t a chess tournament and you win and you go, do 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 do. Oh yeah. Your opponent would look at you like you're crazy. Oh man, we're gonna spell thief this catalyst of aeons they're about to cast. So we're gonna catalyst of aeons as well. That's pretty cool. So we'll just do that next turn. Give me that. I want to ramp. If you can ramp, I can ramp. Them's the rules. Because I got mono star shaping. They're out there. So the, the actual name of our deck is just star shaping control. And no, I'm not going to just... I'm not going to pass and have them attack for two and then I cast it. Because then they just won't attack for two and they'll just pass. Escapes my sure, they attack for four. Big whoop. For the homestead. I don't even want to like spacey sketch or block and let them draw a card. I'll just take four. I mean, we we can heal for fifteen. I think I think we can take four. Uh, Mountain Scryer, what do you got? Ooh, interesting, interesting. I know these paths well. I think Cosmic Inspiration at six mana seems pretty fair. All right, um, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play the Spacey Sketcher. What are we discarding? Do you think we should discard? We're gonna discard one of the two mana cards. So should we discard um, the Sun Blessed Vigor or the Mountain Goat? I guess the Vigor. Boo! This is not what I wanted. I wanted Equinox, and Equinox that Weirding Stones. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, like the Ghost's not a great trade with the Sentry, but remember we are going to, um, we are going to cast this Cosmic Inspiration. I'm going to play the Messenger now, instead of saving the spell mana. In Avarosa's name. Yuck. 
Maybe I was supposed to just save it. Because they can't kill it. I guess I was supposed to save it. IDK. Alright, down to 12. Yeah, it's true. I, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have played the doggo. Um, because of the inspiration. Inspiration time. Oh, this is not inspiration time. No, because they're gonna they're gonna go feel the rush, aren't they? Ledros. I mean, I have to obliterate that thing too. I gotta obliterate everything. All right, at least it's not feel the rush. So basically, how do I survive against a feel the rush for the next turn? Okay, I've. All right, I need to think these, this out a little bit better. These these last couple of turns, I've been just very reactionary and not really thinking it out. And I've been playing pretty bad. Um, so I guess, because if I go Falling Comet on this Ledros right now, then if they go Feel the Rush next turn, even though I could Sunburst, we'd only be left with three mana and like they would like overwhelm and like kill me. So I think I just simply play a blocker. And just block this Ledros for a turn. I guess that's not that good against Atrocity, what I'm doing. My blade grows restless. Alright, your restless blade is silenced. Yeah, I ideally we would have leveled up Karma before the Star Shapings, but that's not always... Um, Available. Yeah, Sunburst can be OP in matchups like this. That's what we were missing with our Zoe Swain deck, is we were missing Sunburst. the immortal fire the other ones don't matter as much ooh denies good Stop. denies very good come on equinox yes that's that's what we're talking about Let's get rid of that Ledros for good. To meet huh. Ha. I got two drops as big as you, Trundle. You think I'm scared? I ain't scared. My two drops are bigger than you. Messenger that just like is a zero mana draw card with a body attached. Um, the the Trundle, I guess, will do a little bit of damage. Safeguard our homes. 
But I, I guess it is. Okay, augment units with Stormclaw Ursine. That does sound very meme, I agree, but that that could could be entertaining. Could be entertaining. Oh really? Now Pill Cascade? I need that last turn with this trundle. Or like just like one <laughs> you know, like I need that during combat. Not even last turn. Just during combat. Is that nine? No, that's that's eight. So I think I've already cast I've already cast Pill Cascade and Mountain Goat. As far as leveling up Zoe is concerned. Gem we haven't cast, but let's kinda see what else we got. Ooh, Solari Priestess, see good thing I waited. The way. Cause see, like right now they don't know for sure that I'm gonna level up Zoe. Um Falling Comet, this one, and yeah, that, yep, that's definitely a thing. If I would have gone Immortal Fire, I would have opened myself up to Atrocity. Yep, I agree, That was that's definitely a thing that could have happened that I didn't want to happen. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Down to two. So I've yeah, we've gotten rid of two Trindomirs so far. I am worried about atrocity. And so I, I want to have like both star shapings available for atrocity. Um, I'll play one of these right now, though. I mean, these don't. Uh, which one doesn't really matter? So I'm not gonna tap under the other five. Cause like if I would have just played like Fallen Comet or Sunburst, the atrocity, and then I loot, you know, like I was at two, I couldn't double star shaping at that point. There we go. Alright, so we're double star shaping without karma. Doing it the hard way. Zoe Aurelian Soul. Level up karma can turn like a like if we have like that six mana obliterate. It can you can just cast one of those to get rid of an Aurelian Soul because like the first one will get rid of the spell shield and then the second one will get rid of the Aurelian Soul, so that's something that could be kind of nice. Um, the first three cards I'm definitely keeping. Those three cards are awesome. It's just like, do I keep the Sunburst? Um, I don't know. Uh, 
I, I guess I will. I, I like it. Um, but it doesn't kill a Rillian Soul. It doesn't get rid of, like, they're Demacia, so they're going to be playing the, um, the, uh, landmark. It doesn't get rid of the landmark. And <laughs> not today always, Zoe. We've not had just like turn one Zoe all the time today. Uh, in this video, maybe. Not in our other decks. Do I trade... Basically, the question is, do I trade Zoe for Sharp Sight? Right? Like, that's like the question here. Is like, they go Sharp Sight. Do I trade, do I trade Zoe for Sharp Sight? And I guess I do. How's it going? Glad at no Grand Plaza. Sunlight guiding my brethren. What if I should take Ridden in Stars? No, I should probably just take the Traveler. Bask in her radiant blessing. I should say, yeah, maybe I should have taken written in stars. Glory. Or burn. Why did not just gem first and then attack? That would have made sense. Make it so they just can't block their 1-1. One -one. Probably would have made sense. So let's see. So we're going to... Where's our hush? There's hush. Hush that. Block that. Pill Cascade this. That's a solid draw. That other Pill Cascade. Just in case we need it here. But we do not. That worked out pretty well. It looks like I have 10 cards in hand, so I should probably play something like that before um, we go to the next turn. The more we learn, the less we fear. It's absolutely stellar. What's up, Karma? Fancy seeing you around these parts. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play the Karma here with us knowing that like we're going to untap with Karma, start creating free spells. Free spells are always good, especially when you're in Targon and all the amazing spells that Targon has to offer. I'm not that worried about like the Radiant Guardian of like how I could kill the Radiant Guardian right here. I'm not that worried about that card right now. Strike for justice! 
Okay. I was worried about Grand Plaza. Where's my journal? Dude. Karma making Spell Thief? That just seems silly good. So I have to play stuff, otherwise, like, we're gonna run out of room, right? Like, we just are going to, like, that's just how life is going to be. I need to keep um, Falling Comet plus something that targets available because <clears throat> like they probably have nine mana really in soul this turn so what do i have the targets i guess i don't really have anything that targets so i guess i'm going to need to play this and go grab single combat so that i have something that targets to get rid of spell shield But this is 10 cards in hand. Plaza. No, don't play Plaza. Ugh. Plaza takes my Fallen Comet, but I need that Fallen Comet for... I guess I don't need it. So I can't play Aurelian Soul this turn, but I guess next turn with Aurelian Soul we can get rid of Spell Shield with like a single Comet and then... Uh, I guess I can... I guess I can make do... And speaks to those who listen. Well, <clears throat> order. I could have saved, could have saved a mana by playing the Scryer first. Lies within. Yeah, there's only uh, there's only three other cards in my deck out of three out of the twenty five that went that had us miss the allegiance, two Parmas, and one. Stop. Deny. I created it. He's magnificent. That is going to kill my 2 2. But it will get rid of their really in soul. I guess I should have I should have used the gem on this mountain scryer first, so then I could have gone gem plus ghost. That's what I should have done. That's alright. I'll just give him a card. We're we're already gonna have like infinite cards anyway. But it, in case of like fight spell, I need I need to keep this Karmas inside of Ages available, which you would think that if they had fight spell they would use it before their um before their really soul died, you would think. But just in case. You and I, have been before, haven't we? I really want to keep that inside of ages available. It's, it's not going to be an easy one to win. have a ton of cards, but just sequencing all of these cards is not going to be the easiest. So we're going to play one trickster that can be a blocker. I could play another trickster... Like, I could Equinox the Screeching Dragon. Kimble and quick, the trickster is. 
Whoa, Sad Jensen with the Twitch Prime sub. A brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get the hype boats in the chat. Let's show some love to our new supporter there with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Sad Jensen. You are amazing. Thank you very much. All right, attack here with our elusives. Down to 11. Back to 16. That was a quick take. to spell of course because of karma but like not moon silver i mean i guess moon silver is not the worst i don't know we just we could make like inside of ages cause zero <laughs> all right that's probably not that great I know these paths well. let's get the 13 7 overwhelm spell shield destroyer the destroyer Whoopsie is another spark. Nothing in pursuit. Yes, this is what I see. The destroyer. Absolutely written in stars. Two mana written in stars? Yes, please. Her light is our sword, her warmth our armor. I could chill with the Zoe and try to uh, Focus on um, me. Okay, no sharp sight. I was gonna say try to play around sharp sight. Just chill with it, try to level it up. Cool, I'll take that. Alright, now we, we really do just kinda need spells. We are a little bit running out of room. Messenger chases stars from the sky. I want two mana deny. Alright, that sounds pretty good. I'll go and cast this now. What are you gonna give me? Danger noodles. You'll probably find an Equinox in here. There we go, there's an Equinox. Um, we'll take the Moon Silver. Why why is my time like like running out? Like I I'm playing fast. It's just like my my time that I have allotted to me is just running out. I can't do anything about it. I'm playing as fast as I can. Sure, I don't care about that thing. Get another card out of my hand, that's good. Alright, zero mana deny. 
Aw, oh, opponent, where are you going? We were just getting started. We hadn't even started, like, casting Karmas yet. Do-do-do-do-do, oh yeah. Draven Ezreal. Prediction has started. Are we going to win Zoe Karma? Draven Ezreal. Let's go. We'll keep the Scryer. Um, Bastion's nice, but a little expensive. I want to try to stabilize um, against maybe a fast start. Like, it's potentially a fast start, so I want to make sure that we can stabilize, which is why I mulliganed all those other cards. Which one there, Jack? Yeah, silly. Rude. I'd just play this. Alright, so all these are, like, honestly pretty nice. Like, I could take Golden Sister and then have, like, Mountain Scryer then Golden Sister, but I guess none of those really block. No, I'm just gonna take the Traveler. Uh, I have no idea, Yo habla Espanol. No idea. coming right up. Draven super strong. Alright, take the deal four, deal one, because deal four can kill either of these two champions, especially this Dr. Avon that is in play right now. I think that's how you, you, you say it. I think it's French. I think he's a French Don't blink. doctor. My spirit shines. This is gonna hurt for you. Dr. Avon. Now we're cooking. Good trade. I'll take that. I don't think they play too much survival skills. Wow, that was a good trade every day of the week that we just had? That's... That's most of the time. Any day of the week. Back heretic. Six is, you know, like, that's a good amount of Nexus damage, but I do have the two star shapings, so maybe we could take it. Know your path for the mountain chain. Man, we are bad with our Mountain Scryers. We have missed a lot, a lot of Mountain Scryers. See if they have an answer to Zoe. Maybe not. Wow, tribeam for five. These tribeams have been killing us today. Ah, yeah, Tyler and Crucified had it. How do we stay alive? We need to go wide, but like, how do we go wide? Like, how do we go wider, you know, like, stop all these things?
these are not the answers. I wanted a very cheap card, like a 0 mana 2 1 challenger, for example. Or just like something very cheap, like a 1 mana 4 1. It was my heart that led me here. So I can't afford to pass and not use the mana. And everything's just one for one here. I I need I need to go wide. I need a wide effect. I thought we missed again. Alright, like this cosmic rays could help us if we can survive. I guess it would only I guess it would only obliterate two things right now. What would you divine from my stars? Yours is the light that guides all travelers onward. How is that card remotely fair? The charger chases stars across the sky. That card is not remotely fair. Stories of coils encircling the world. Not gonna be easy to stay alive in this game, but it's still possible that Hush was a good draw. It's not probable, but it's possible. Exercise caution. It's not possible anymore. By the way. If I had one more mana, it'd be possible. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't survive double or like open attack double decimate. I could survive uh double decimate if they gave me a, a chance to play like super cool star chart or something. Get another blocker. Captain Farron. Still broken. How many of our losses today are just because of Captain Farron? That's our third one? That's just our third... Our third loss today on... Because of Captain Farron. Out of seven. Or is it the fourth one? It's the third I remember. That I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I just misclicked. Or again in. They forced us to so the Eclipse Dragon is like our best card for the Dust Petal Dust, so I kind of wanted to keep it. But of course we're playing against this very aggressive tank. And so then again I did want to keep a six mana card. Or I guess, you know, seven with like one spell mana. Um It's our time.
If I play the Priestess right now, the, you know, they, they challenge with the Priestess with the Flame Chompers. And I don't get to kill the Flame Chompers. Now we're cooking. And they are not letting up either, are they? Like that's very good hand they had. Bask in her radiant blessing. Very good hand they had. It doesn't get much better than like two things on turn one and two things on turn two and then Draven plus Vision on turn three. In fact, I don't know if it does get any better than that. This is so I think basically with these two games we found that like our deck really struggles against the decks that go wide. But this is also just kind of an abnormal deck that goes wide, right? Two units on turn one, like that's not something you see that very often. And then two more units on turn two. You know, the Draven plus Vision on turn three, and then turn four removal spell plus two units. We haven't seen what they're gonna do on turn five yet, but like that's just um you know, not very common for a deck to be able to do that. Basically, two to three cards every single turn. None of these cards matter. Hey, what are you chewing on? You should try blinking sometime. This certainly looks like a struggle of our deck. Oh, I need to play something on my 10 cards. But the only three cards I want to play all replace themselves anyway. Best I can do. The answer is yes, somewhere. Immerse yourself in the unknown. I'll give you to the counter. So why do they not just like cast their other spinning axe and deal an additional point of damage to me? Like I could be at three right now. Like obviously I'm I'm gonna die, and so it probably doesn't matter, most likely, but like I should just be at three if they're just going to and especially, yeah, like, they could have just, like, cast that spinning axe and just discarded anything. Maybe they just hadn't decided that they were going to do that yet. No, Alright, and that will do. GG's. Much too aggressive for us. Alright, so three and two. 
So the two Noxus decks that have the ability to go wide with, you know, House Fighters and um, all sorts of, like, those kind of cards uh, really gave us fits there those last two games. But it started off well. You know, whenever we played against the decks that, you know, the non-Noxus decks, basically, um, our deck looked pretty good. Um, even though we had Nexus healing with, like, you know, Guiding Touch and Star Shaping and stuff like that. Nexus healing doesn't stop, like, uh, units that go that go wide. And it doesn't really... It's really hard to stop Captain Farron creating three Decimates also. Um, so, yeah, that, that was kind of a problem. And so, I think that's, like, something... I don't know exactly what to do with, like, Targon of, like, how do you... You know, like, our regions don't have an Avalanche or anything like that. You know, like, or, or anything, you know, like a Withering Whale, an Avalanche, a Make It Rain... You know, we don't have access to anything like that. So I, I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do with Targon and Ionia. As far as decks that go wide, we don't have a Judgment. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, does, does anybody have any ideas? I mean, basically the only thing we can do is, like, get the 8-mana Celestial card that, like, obliterates all the, the things with power 3 or less. But obviously that's just incredibly slow because you have to, like have the invoke card first and then hit that and then also you have to behold another celestial card and then cast like that takes forever i don't think sunforger really helps honestly like sunforger is just just kind of like sunforger is just like star shaping it's just like maybe gain five um it doesn't help decks that go wide it doesn't like all those attacks like are open attacks you don't get to like play it and then block with it we don't have any ways to like fight with it I think Sunforger is a lot better with Demacia, like where you have fight spells with it, but without that, and uh, you never know, like I could, you know, I could play it and then like attack and they block with a 1-1 one, one, and then just like Mystic Shot their 1-1 one, one, and then I gain nothing. Like I don't think Sun Sunforger is not the answer to those matchups. Yeah, maybe Eye of the Dragon. If we play Eye of the Dragon, you can't play Mountain Scryer, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to play Mountain Scryer. And so you'd have to, like, that's like the replacement you'd have to do. Um, you'd probably want more kind of card card like spells uh cheap spells like super cool star chart spell thief um behold the infinite that kind of stuff if you're playing eye of the dragon as well yeah so like you you have to build around eye of the dragon you can't just like throw eye of the dragon in any deck you have to your deck has to be built around eye of the dragon and so you'd, you we'd have to change the deck definitely because it's not like our curve is very high it's just we don't have we don't have the big effects that can affect like multiple things that like whenever they're going real wide like it's that's like the problem it's not just like play another one drop play another two drop right like that like that doesn't really stop them oh you know over half our deck costs one or two mana already oh well there we go there was zoe karma it looked very good the first few games but then the last two games we found what the um difficulty is with this deck with those noxus decks that that have that ability to go wide and it's not necessarily like just the aggro right because we saw that with the the twisted fate deck that um was able to go wide that game four and then have uh captain farron with the decimates um i think it was twisted fate i think that was twisted fate swain if i remember right but um yeah anyway there we go that's zoe karma still did pretty good we got to have the one game, game three, where we got to have leveled up karma and start casting, uh, you know, uh, multiple copies of the same spell each time with karma. That was pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, we got to do some really cool stuff with that. So that looked good. Um, and there we go. That's what we got. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.